and welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing with you inside of my closet. I'm also going to be sharing with you Jorge's side and how I've organized it. I've reorganized everything. I've taken out all of the spring and summer items and I've packed them away, which is another thing that I wanted to share with you because a lot of you guys have been asking me how I store my off-season clothes. I find that it I just feel better not having the items that I'm not reaching for in my closet. I feel like it it serves as a, another thing to clutter up a space and if I'm not going to be using it, I don't want to have to see it and touch it every day and have to sift through those items as well. So it just makes the most sense to me. Everybody has a different way of doing things. This is something that I've done ever since I could remember you know, organizing my own closet, this is what I prefer to do. And it really works out for me. Um, I did a video more recently about the fall transition for my own closet, but it was just, it wasn't taking out like all of my sweaters and everything because the weather didn't call for it yet. So now that it does, I have rearranged things. I've decorated just a bit and I hope that you guys enjoy this video so let's get started. Walking in you're going to notice that I did a little bit of rearranging in here. I used to have this shelf over where my clothing is right now and I just felt that if I created a space that felt more open and um, you know, kind of out of the way, it wouldn't feel so cramped in here, which when I would come in here before with the clothes on this rack right here, it, it kind of protruded a little more than this shelf does. So definitely right away walking in, it feels larger. And I decided to kind of space my purses out so they weren't just taking up a bunch of space on the top. And that way I can use the top shelves for other things such as my sweaters and my jeans and that way I didn't have much on the floor. That's something that I love to see on the floor is a lot of open space. I felt that this space would be good to put this little purse right here. It's also housing three of my scarves that I have and it kind of puffs it up a little bit because it was getting a little sad, you know, just kind of um, lifeless looking and, and indented and so when you puff up your your purses it kind of keeps their shape and so that's what I was using those to do. The other thing you'll notice is that I no longer have my necklaces hanging from the bar and I would like to come up with a better system than them hanging from the bar or than them hanging on the side of the mirror like this but it is what I am doing for now and um, I might get a little stand or something to put um, opposite of the earring stand and the other thing that I've done is I've really gone through a lot of my jewelry I had tons of earrings on here tons of studs on here before and I found that I just wasn't wearing all of them so I really weeded out through all of the stuff that I know that I don't reach for anymore and just kept those pieces that I really loved and that I definitely wear. Up on top I wanted something that could house all of my clutches and also just was pretty to look at so this is one of my favorite little mementos from Ayla's baby shower. She got um, a plain Mary set. It was like a um, a changing pad and a play mat and it came with this box which I don't know if that exactly came with it or if there were like some onesies or something in there as well but um, it was just something that I've kept all these years and I've always loved like old-fashioned um, you know vintage style suitcases and so that's what this reminded me of it's it's not very sturdy at all it's kind of flim flimsy it's made out of um, cardboard but um, it was still cute so that's what I'm using that for just to contain all of those and then right over here I've used a basket that I've turned on its side and I'm using it to just contain my sweaters and to keep them from 
you know, being misshapen on a hanger and I don't have a drawer for them. So I just felt that this would, this would do. And, um, you know, it just keeps it from falling over or anything like that. Moving on down, I have my white purse, which I just added one of the little scarves that I had to it. And then moving on down from that, I just hung up two hooks that I already had, which I was, I was hanging my robes on before, but I realized it was kind of creating a, a, like it was loosening the fabric of the robes. So I didn't want to hang them like that anymore. It was kind of misshaping them. So I'm hanging my purses that, that way I have just easy access to them and it kind of doubles as decor. Now I received these two frames from a friend and I've had them in Aria's closet this whole time just sitting up in her closet and I didn't know how I was going to use them or where I was going to use them but I just thought well I have this catalog with prints from when I modeled and they were just you know in a catalog tucked away in a in a cabinet and I just thought it would it'd be great just to make use of them and I thought that what better place than inside of my closet because as you guys know when you go into a boutique or a store there's always you know beautiful pictures of women wearing the outfits and stuff and so I just thought that would be a perfect addition to my closet because I did a lot of modeling and um, I I don't have any of those pictures out anywhere and I I just don't didn't really know where I would put those pictures because you know I didn't want to just have like a whole wall of me up in my house or something um, but this to me feels like it's a really great place for them and I look forward to kind of probably printing a few more once I renovate this space and kind of having like a fashion wall, so to speak, of all of the modeling that I've done of different clothes from the store at Kochi. So that's a little, a little history on that. And um, I will give you guys just a closer look. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with that store. Definitely not clothes that I would wear, but um, it was fun. Definitely fun to kind of just play dress up. Let somebody else do your hair and makeup and dress you up. Right here to the right I do have another basket which I've turned on its side and this is where I just put all of my jeans in. I have two pairs that are not in there right now. One I'm wearing and the other which is in the wash. Moving on down I just have all of my clothing and it fits very nicely on this wall. It's not as spacious as the other one, but that's okay. I've gone through so much of my clothes and I have weeded out anything that I know I'm not going to wear anymore or that doesn't fit me or that uh, was ruined, it had stains, it had holes, anything like that. And then over here on the left, I just keep all of my sleeping attire and my robes. And underneath that, I have a bag here, which I'm keeping all of my ballet attire in, everything that I need to go to ballet class. And then I have my hats and my, my uh, beanies in here. So that's just in my hat box there. Now let's go to Jorge's side. His is very, very minimal. He only has a few shirts that he wears for a uh, church service and he has his ties over there. I do keep the ironing board back there and then all of his ironed work shirts go up on top. We have his underwear drawer, his sock drawer. I think you guys have all seen this before but I did kind of change some of this around. I have all of his t-shirts and all of his shorts and I'm just using the Conmarie method of folding and then all of his work pants and his jeans 
And then the bottom is just like dress pants and um, extra shorts and pants he doesn't wear very often. And finally, I thought that I would give you guys a look at how I store my off-season clothing. I give myself these two bins and this just has all of my dresses, all of my tops, and I fold it pretty much the KonMari method. I do not get, you know, too picky about, you know, it being perfect and all of that. It's just, I'm going to be taking it all out and going through it. And a lot of times I do rewash everything when I change out the season because it kind of starts having like a you know, like a stale type smell to it. So I like to refresh the fabric. And um, I keep shoes in here. This is just like an overnight bag. And then, yeah, more shoes down there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I hope that you guys take care and have a beautiful day. Bye. Mm -hmm.